Hi, this is Bradley Barth with SE Media here at the Identiverse Conference in Las Vegas. My guest today is Ebony Love. She is Director of Cybersecurity Service Deployments at McDonald's, which recently cut down its new employee onboarding from a 12 to 24 hour batch update to just a 10 minute process. In addition, the company also cut down its synchronization of employee identity data from what was also a 24 hour process to something that would only take two to four hours. Ebony, uh, explain some of the difficulties that your organization encountered before you made some of these process improvements. Oh yes, Bradley, it was uh, kind of a mess. We had this very antiquated system with uh, undersized servers and uh, we were having monthly outages uh, for the business and, and when you're running a 24 hour restaurant system, you cannot have outages you know, happening. So we had those as a challenge and just with uh, the number of restaurants that we have. It's over 40,000 restaurants around the world in 116 different countries. Um, and you really, you're onboarding crew constantly and you really need your system to be reliable. You need it to be fast. Uh, and so that's what we were really challenged with delivering. Now, Ebony, you just mentioned uh, 40,000 restaurants approximately run by McDonald's, uh, some of them also franchise operated. So can you just give us a sh sense of the, the, just the sheer number of employees that you uh, bring into your organization and on board on a daily basis? Yeah, absolutely. So uh, we are actually around 95% franchisee, so very little uh, uh, corporate owned stores, um, but uh, essentially we're around 2 million crew. And you can think of it as just about every minute of every day, there's someone being onboarded to McDonald's. So what are the drawbacks of not being able to immediately onboard someone? Because I know that was part of the issue that you were experiencing. Uh, if it takes a day, uh, somebody might make the argument, well, you're just losing a day. They can always start in 24 hours. But I know that did represent a problem. Explain why. Yeah, well, there's so much competition uh, in the marketplace. You know, you can hire somebody on a Thursday and by Friday they have a different job. So you really want to, when you find someone that you really want to bring into the restaurant, you want to get them into the restaurant as quickly as possible, start them on their first shift and really get them going on the sanitation practices, the best way of making the Big Mac. You wanna put them on fries, the McCafe machines. You really want them in the restaurant learning our McDonald's business and not sitting at a computer waiting for the tech to, to work. And then let's explain also what the other aspect of the problem was to the slow synchronization process. What was the main issue uh, with the slow synchronization that also tended to slow down productivity? Yeah, so that I think was primarily we had undersized infrastructure. We had uh, across two regions, we had eight servers serving these 40,000 uh, different franchisees and we were running a batch process and one of the challenges with the batch process is that we were actually deleting the entire table and doing complete refreshes and that would take so long that in order for the jobs not to clash you'd have to stagger every 12 hours to have those jobs run and then you can't take down all eight servers at a time to do the sync, you have to take them down one at a time in sequence so that you're never kind of out of a server, but now you've got, um, your information is out of sync, mm -hmm. right? So you have to wait for all of those servers to come up with the latest uh, data, and that just takes time. And there was also a third related problem that you also uh, uh, described in your Identiverse presentation, uh, and that has to do with, and this actually ties into what we were saying before about how you're 90% franchised owned, that you basically had uh, an increasing array of authentication requests from all these different diverse HR sources. So mm -hmm. explain how that was an issue as well in your organization. Yeah, so we aren't running just one HR system. You know, in in the franchisee model, you've got different technologies that you're trying to bring together uh, around the globe. You know, you're going to have these disparate uh, systems. And what we're challenged to do is to pull all of those disparate systems together in a way that makes sense, where you have um, the correct records for each employee and you're syncing that data to all of your downstream systems, like your training system, your um, hygiene and sanitation system, your um, 
point of sale systems, all these different systems coming together to identify the, which crew works in which restaurants in which market. So what was your approach when it came time to actually fix all of these different problems? Uh, I know when we initially spoke, you said that uh, really this project to, to, to fix uh, this, this batch update problem and the slow sync problem happened maybe about two and a half years ago. So what went into the strategy of being able to uh, address all of these issues in a way that you could not then uh, have the, the quicker response times that you were looking for? Yeah, so when we originally talked to our business partners, what we were hearing was you have uh, antiquated systems that are causing downtime in the restaurant. So we need you to address that. So we looked at this as a technology problem, right? Uh, so we really try to think about what would we do if we if we could do things over again? What would, what would we do in that situation? And so we really started from the beginning and we redesigned the, the data architecture and we like to call it the golden record. So we're bringing together all of these disparate sy systems to create a single row of data for every uh, employee and crew member across the company. And in doing that, we're really able to kind of bring those systems together into kind of that single view of the employee. So that really kind of revolutionized the way that we were looking at our data and thinking about identity at, at the company. What would you say are some of the key uh, takeaways that uh, uh, we can learn from this particular project? I know that uh, in your presentation you talk a little bit about uh, this project changing the way that you looked at identity management problems and performance issues uh, and how they're solved. Explain a little bit about uh, you know what you meant by that. Yeah, so what was so interesting that we found is that we really approached approach this from a technology standpoint. And what we the problem that we thought we were solving was the uptime, the no business disruption. Um, but what we actually found when we went on operator visits, because you know, getting the identity sync down from 24 hours to two to four hours, that was really incredible for us. You know, it's not perfect real time. It's not even real close to real time, but it was a huge improvement. But when we went to meet with the operators, what we were actually finding is they wanted to uh, hire and train for shift same day, which is a different problem than downtime and you know sync time and, and all these different things and so um, I think when we got to the end what we discovered is that there was a kind of a simpler solution which was to look at what's the actual process to onboard crew not what technology are you running to make that process go faster um, so I think what we discovered in the end is that if you really what was happening is they would wait for the person to show up for their first shift and then request the ID. And so even if you're getting the ID much faster, it's still not, I just got here, my ID is, is ready, right? So we really needed to either address, hey, when you first hire someone, that's when you make the ID request. Um, and that would actually get you to the solution faster than the 18 months, right, that it took for us to redo the infrastructure. All right, well, some great uh, inside look at uh, how you relieved some of the bottlenecks that were uh, really slowing down your organization, or as I believe you referred to them in the title of your session, the ba -da -ba -ba bottlenecks, which I thought was a very cute little touch. But thanks very much, Ebony, really appreciate it. Uh, this is Bradley Barth from SC Media reporting from Identiverse.